So this morning we're going to look at the lunar landings. The Jigsaw strategy begins with uh, all students in a home group, uh, maybe five home groups throughout the class. And this is, it, there is about a five minute briefing activity whereby each, uh, the groups are given a problem to solve. Do you think it's fact that we went to the moon? Do you think it's fiction? You think it is made up actually? The, each member of the group then is given a number, so in, in any one group there will be a number one, two, three, four or five. The second part of the activity um, is where they go into their expert groups for about 10 to 12 minutes. So all the ones will go to uh, the area for number ones, all the twos, all the threes, all the fours. These are their expert groups where the students in that group will increase their knowledge on a particular area um, which they will then become an expert in. That particular area is going to be just one piece in the puzzle to solve the problem that the group was given in the home group at the beginning. Guys, that's our expert group time up. Did you learn anything? After 10 to 12 minutes, they return back to their home group, now four or five different experts in different areas, and they're given a chance to share that knowledge with the whole group. We put uh, a shoe in each of them to test how the footprint came out and it came out um, stronger on the lunar dust. The home group then has an opportunity to work together to use their combined information to solve the problem given at the beginning. We all shared our ideas together and um, we, um, when we went into our expert groups we found out different things about space that we didn't uh, know before and then when we went back to our home groups we were able to explain what we learned. Being card is uh, us to teach other kids about what we've learned and it generally gets the information in more because I think it's proven that you learn better if you're teaching someone else. Because we work together we like have more to talk about and can go approach the groups that we were in and the other groups and talk about what theirs was and what ours was and vice versa. It takes a level of preparation so before the students are to split up into their expert groups, you need to make sure that there is content available at their expert group stations that they will be able to translate into something they can teach each other. Another challenge that I would see with using Jigsaw in the classroom is that it can be quite challenging as a teacher to step back and let the students do a lot of the work. It still takes a little bit of scaffolding the first times that you're using Jigsaw. So when the groups break up into their expert groups, each group probably needs the teacher to circulate around to them and ensure that they're on task. The use of this strategy in the classroom develops the student skills in the area of working with others. They have to combine all the information that they learn together and come up with a group consensus for what they think is the answer to the problem. So it it's kind of gets them from uh, the start of the task right down to the nitty gritty of solving it using all of those skills on the way. So you're investigating what? There's multiple ways of checking in on the learning during a jigsaw activity, um, from circulating while the groups are working um, to asking questions as, as they're working. Also, at the end, um, the students have to, in this case, present their argument using all of the information together. So they've had to create a poster and then, as a group, present whether or not they thought, in this, in this case, that the lunar landings were fact or fiction. The level of preparation involved in a jigsaw um, activity totally pays off because you are spending less time keeping students engaged and on task and more time answering questions with students who are actually engaged in the content and you're facilitating their learning in a much more efficient way.